Open this letter when you feel alone and hopeless in the heaviest part of midnight. Darling, you've not always been kept safe, I know. Somewhere inside, you're still that small babe, growing up on the farm, hiding in the feed bags on top of the hay bales, waiting out the fight. Your heart is still broken from the last time you were vulnerable and deceived, and that's okay. Not everything happens for a reason. The poets lied about that one. But make no mistake about this. To feel even a speck of gratitude for this life, for this chaotic pilgrimage is holy protest, a sacred revolution. The hope for better when the worst is having dinner at your kitchen table, that's you building a medicine wheel around your enemies and saying you did not win. Darling, you are imperfect and strange, terrifying in the way that you love, as impossible to imprison as the tide. The plague that tried to erase us, the anger that came for your body, the helplessness, that untamable falcon clung to your neck, none of it bested you. Your every inhale, every strike of guitar string, every word you commit to a page, every breath is a testament to the fierce rising of a mind that refused the fall. You are a candle in a hurricane church. Your existence is an inextinguishable burst of stardust. Say this right now, say this out loud. I am breathing. Say, I am as glorious as the weapons of hate are powerless. Say, I am an abalone shell, glittering diamond in the rubble. I am a king amidst a million fallen crowns. Answer me this, how many hands have you held tender while they cried? How many have you invited into your kitchen and warmed them by the fire? How much have you given away even when your pockets were empty? You, unrelenting protector of creative impulse, you, resolute rising bird, of artistic flock, how many times have you forgiven yourself? How many times have you recovered? Open your eyes, blink back the moonlessness, no matter how thick and glutted, say Lucille's words with your whole throat open, say every day, something has tried to kill me and has failed, say, I am not my mistakes. I am not what happened to me. I am not who I once was. I am no one else's redemption, no one's accident. This is my one life. I earned this life. I earned this feast. Memorize the names of your ancestors. And know they died so you could live, so you could remember how to hope for something different, something better. The Buddhists, they teach us that hope is not some blind devotion to a particular outcome. Hope is a complicated bardo, an intermediary luminescent space in which we embrace both the messy mayhem and the possibility of pure illuminated joy. That's the battle that strains us the challenge of choosing love when these days the world keeps teaching us how to hate. I can't erase the midnight for you, my beloved, my darling. The sand will keep slipping through the glass no matter how hard we pray for a pause. But this is the life we have. 
and it's going to keep getting lived, no matter you feel like the kite or the hand holding the string. But what if, what if you could be the wind? Would they name you crazy for how reckless you flaunt your abandon? Let them. Refuse to apologize. Refuse to lay down your arms when there's still so much fight left in your bones. Let them hear you. Invite them to shout as you shout, I am alive. I am resilient. I am infinite and wild. And today, today is not the day I give up. Can you hear your voice echoing through the hall? Can you hear your sound getting louder and more brilliant with every revolve? Don't get quiet now. Generations of children in every direction, they're listening for your call.